So starting out, guys, um, we're just going to do a run through of what it was like the day before the meet. Then I'm going to go and transition into what it was like on meet day. The day before the meet, you know, and, and again, guys, this has nothing to do with how I performed. This is just a lesson learned. But um, I wanted this day to be something that we'll always remember, something that my family will always remember, and that the world will get to witness. And you know, the day before, I probably um, should have been more conservative and like chilled out. But you know, um, there were certain things that I needed to handle. You know, getting family in, making sure they had you know everything that they needed, because uh, that's what I'm about. Uh, at the end of the day, it's not about me; it's what I can do for other people. So just making sure that everybody was taken care of. And I know I need to be more considerate about myself and thinking like, look, you need to be resting during these times. But that's just how I'm wired, and I'm okay with that. So from the jump, uh, you know, I was very fatigued, which didn't carry over to meet day because I knew that without a doubt that I'm gonna hit this weight. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. I knew it, like I could feel it. These are just the times where everything's in tune. Did you follow up on your programming? Yes. Um, did you did you get the proper amount of rest days leading up to you know those 24 hours? Yes, I did everything that I was supposed to do. I stayed um, I stayed up uh, you know uh, as late as I could and made sure I got everything done at night. I mean before before it was time for me to hit that deadline of me uh, you know making sure I was in bed early every week leading up to this every day leading up to this and. Um, so just the small tweaks, making sure I stayed hydrated, plenty of uh, carbs, just fueled up. So everything, um, apart from you know just being kind of scatterbrained, 24 hours leading up to the event, was was where it needed to be. So the day of the meet, um, I just woke up. I was so anxious. I had a knot in my stomach. I couldn't even eat. Uh, that morning, I think I ate uh, I ate a, a a sausage egg and cheese McGriddle because I can all those those are always clutch. But uh, I ate a sausage, egg, and cheese McGriddle, drank uh, a couple of uh, those Pedialyte uh, little jugs just to make sure, I cause, because understand, and at the gym at East Race Muscle, and that's the reason why we like it is because it was hot, but with the amount of people that was there, it made it even hotter, you know, so. Uh, Warm-ups went great, uh, you know, timing was an issue, which things happen, I get it. They said it was gonna start at 12.17. And for those of you who don't know about like pre-gaming before your before the before not pre-gaming, but like pre-lift warm-up, like those are very uh, vital, especially the timing. So when they cut it short, you know, when they started at 12.06, I hadn't even took my last warm-up yet. And uh, so what, what we did was, you know, we kind of had them clean out the bar, you know, just do the small things that give us a little bit more time. But first attempt, I ended up getting my, my last my last warm up, which was 650. And then I went into my first lift. My first attempt was 722. Uh, the, something about whenever I hit, whenever I hear my name being called, it's like the switch flips. Like I go from being just sat regular Julius to like savage, straight savage beast, and that's how it was. By the way, 722 pounds looked on my first attempt. Like we already knew without a doubt, 800's in the tank, it's there. Like I still get cold chills thinking about that moment of, you know, the bar, the weight, everything being in my hand, holding it tight, and just thinking in my head like, I'm about to crush this weight. Flew up, fastest, Fastest amount of weight, yeah, fastest opener, fast, pretty much the heaviest opener ever in history. And for me, it was it was extremely fast. Like, it, it was just mind blowing. So with all that being said, like we knew 800 was in the tank. And uh, so I go and I'm, I'm sitting down. Uh, at this time, like my, 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 my chest is starting to cramp up a little bit. Um, so it's 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 pretty much uh, uh, I, I'm not I can't say it's it's due to a lack of of uh, hydration because I was I was drinking all that morning gallons and gallons and gallons weeks leading up before so 
Uh, but it's just a part of it. It's just when you're when you're, you're when your brain knows that it's time, it's game time. It wants to pump that fresh blood into your muscles, and that's what it's doing. So they're they're twitching and, and spazzing out. So at this point, you know, it's 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 it's, it's coming around. You know, and I, I'm, it's game time. You know, uh, I'm getting ready to go for my second attempt, world record, something I've been training my whole life for. I've been training my whole life for this exact moment. I've been I've been coming overcoming um, obstacles and, and adversity my whole life, leading up to this point. Like, and that's what people don't understand, the time, not just the time, but the money that goes into all this, and, and, and the effort and the, the, the mental, like the mental capacity that you have to have to be able to endure these things is just, it's, it's just why it's not built for everybody, you know? And I had worked myself up, and what, what plays through my head is the example that I'm leading, that I'm, that I'm gonna leave behind for everybody, for my family, my community, uh, all the people that support me, so I'm, I'm already in the zone. You know, you can see it like I'm tearing up, like, the, like it, 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 I can't explain the feeling that I get, but it, it, you can only manifest those type of feelings every so often. Like this, this isn't a feeling that you can just conjure up and say, all right, it's game time. This is something that, that, that has to be deep meditation you have to think about. And I use every horrible situation I've been in, every um, um, situation that I never thought I'd come out of, every person that told me I would never achieve what I'm achieving. And I use those things as fuel. So with all that being said, there's a window. And, and, and it's shown through all my lifts. There's a window of time to where I, I get peak adrenaline rush and, and, and there's nothing else that can, I can compare it to that, that gets me there. So I'm there. You can see me laying down on the bench and I'm pressing against the bar just to see, just to feel the power in my hands. I know it's weird, but I'm squeezing it and I'm, I'm pretty much pressing against the bar, thinking in my head, this is gonna go up like a feather. You know, and when the weight came off the, the rack, instantly I knew something wasn't right. Um, even whenever they were questioning, I knew something wasn't right. A weight just doesn't shift like that. And sure enough, on my second attempt, they misloaded, a, they misloaded the weight. And at this point, guys, like, I understand that, 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 that people make mistakes. And I'm not gonna blame them, I mean, I'm not pushing the blame off on them. Like, they, you know, they messed up. They messed up, right? But I understand, and that's, where, like, that's, that's, that's what's so different about me, is I understand that whatever's gonna go wrong is gonna go wrong. I understand that. But uh, this, like, just like I couldn't, I couldn't even talk after the lift because of how mad I was. Like, and it's, it's mad because I'm still learning how to channel and process my feelings instead of acting out in rage and, and, and showing my butt and acting like a 10-year-old, a you know, um, and, and uh, angry. And I, I've just been angry because, again, I can't, without it tainting my character and, and what I've worked so hard to get to, forget powerlifting, forget weightlifting, uh, forget the weight, I'm saying the person I've, I've become today, the, the stand-up guy in my community, the stand-up guy that people count on and take advice from, is far much greater than, than blowing it on, on live television. It's just, uh, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. I've came too far um, to um, lose it all over uh, a man, a mistake a man made, you know, so, uh, yeah, I'm angry. I am angry. Uh, but again, it, it happens, you know. Uh, I know that, uh, like, these trials like this, that I'm built for this. This is what I was made for. I can go back, I can go back in my, in my, in my, in the history of me lifting weights. The first time I've ever attempted, um, did my like first attempt at some kind of national record or world record, uh, I think it was February 2018, RPS, I did a, uh, I broke 705. And the second lift I went for 723. And as I was coming out and laying down, and right before we got the lift off, somebody called out that it was a misload. 
So all that energy that you work up and you and you like conjure up that you need, that that adrenaline's pumping. I'm, I'm talking where if you need to pick a car up off of somebody, you can pick it up off of somebody. You know, um, those type of feelings you can't just conjure up. And I remember what that felt like again. And I came back out and I missed the lift at the top. So. That second attempt, just going through that whole process, yes, I was angry. They gave it a couple minutes, uh, and I didn't want to like lose the more momentum that I had already lost. So I tried to hype myself up, went back out there, uh, missed the weight again, which by that time I had already kind of tweaked my peg, tweaked my back, and uh, you know I scratched on my third lift. But again, guys, it happens. You know, uh, I've been going through adversity my whole life. This is it, this is something that, again, that you have to be around me or know me or know who I am and see what I've been through. And you guys got to understand, like, I didn't want to feed into it. I, I didn't want to feed into it. Everybody else was already feeding into it. And uh, I didn't want to make it even worse. Um, I had to learn many times to to, uh, to be able to calm the situation down instead of uh, instigating it and, and, and making it worse. Um, but yeah, I have every right to be pissed off and angry and mad, but I choose to take it out of the platform. So, like I've said many times before, um, I better get ready because uh, this these next these next 12 weeks, 16 weeks, uh, you're just gonna see a different person. Uh, it's it's uh, it's that time. I mean, it's 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 time for me to uh, stop playing games and and which don't get me wrong. If you if you could ask me at like at one point like how much. With everything else I got going on with family and training and all that stuff, how much do I actually put towards uh, training? Like really, I would say 60%, 70%. And I'm just being given a flat, just being honest. So I'm to a point now to where um, I'm just done playing games and, and we're gonna crank it up. We're gonna crank it up 100% all gas. And uh, ain't not, nothing's gonna stop me. Not a judge, not a, uh, I'm gonna make this lift so sweet. People, you can't dispute it. I've done it before. Um, again, many times, like I said, this has happened many times before. Um, I've been overcoming adversity since I was a little kid. I've been overcoming adversity since I've been through addiction. And this is just another road bump. And I'm telling you, like, this desire, so we talked about that feeling, about being able to like conjure it up. Like, it almost seems like that me gave me the fuel to at, at any time, I'm ready to go. So this is what I needed, this is exactly what I needed. And I'm, I'm gonna take it and, and, and I'm gonna show the world. It is what it is. But uh, other than that, what it looks like is, is uh, you know, we're back to the drawing board. Talked to my coach this morning. Had a meeting real quick with my team, and we're gonna um, we're gonna provide the best services we can provide for you guys, from merchandise to apparel to programs um, to just informational videos. Uh, why not? You know, I, I, I admit I have been, like I said, pushing 60, 70 percent, and and 60, 70 percent is not good enough. I talk about being being irregular, being different, and you know, just take a take a step back and look at it. Like my work ethic hasn't been what, where it needed to be. Forget the coronavirus, forget all of that, because there's no excuse. So uh, I'm just gonna see a different side of me, man. It's, it's, it's no more games. But uh, I, I do. I appreciate you guys for uh, uh, keeping up with the journey, um, guys. Don't forget, make sure you share the videos. I need you to share the videos. Like, subscribe, and share the videos. But uh, just get ready. So we're about we're about 12, 16 weeks out, and we're gonna we're gonna give it another run. So I appreciate you guys.